this video, we will look at a few examples to practice working with multinomial distributions. In example A, it says, you are given a bag of marbles. Inside the bag are five red marbles, four white marbles, and three blue marbles. Calculate the probability that with six trials, you choose three marbles that are red, one marble that is white, and two marbles that are blue, replacing each marble after it is chosen. All right, so in this case, where we have a multinomial distribution because in every trial, when we pick a marble, there are three possible outcomes. We could get red, white, or blue. And we're repeating this experiment six times, so there are six trials. So the probability of this specific outcome that we want, three red, one white, and two blue, we'll start off with having six factorial because there are six factorial different ways to arrange six different marbles. Then we need to divide by the repetitions, three, two, and one factorial each. So three factorial, two factorial, and one factorial. Of course, the one factorial isn't very necessary because it's just one, but it's helpful to go through that process to make sure you don't forget anything. Then we're gonna multiply by the probabilities of each of these things. So what's the probability of getting three marbles that are red? Well, let's see. How many marbles are in this bag? There are five red, four white, and three blue. So that means that altogether there are 12 marbles. So five of those 12 marbles are red, so the probability of any marble, if you just pull out one marble, the probability that it will be red is 5 out of 12. So we'd multiply 5 out of 12, the probability of a red marble, to the third power because we're looking for three marbles that are red. Next we're going to do the one marble that is white. What's the probability of picking a white marble? Well there are four white marbles so the probability is 4 out of 12. And we would raise that to the first power because we're only choosing one. Last, we want to talk about the marbles that are blue. There are three blue marbles, so the probability of a blue marble is three out of 12, and we raise that to the second power. At this point, we're done and we just need to calculate this. Our calculator can be a big help. Once we go through and do the calculations, we should get an answer of about 0.0899 which means it's about 8.99% chance that we will get exactly three marbles that are red, one marble that is white, and two marbles that are blue. Example B, you are randomly drawing cards from an ordinary deck of cards. Every time you pick one, you place it back in the deck. You do this five times. What is the probability of drawing one heart, one spade, one club, and two diamonds? All right, so this time, this is also a multinomial distribution because there are four possible outcomes. You could get heart, spades, clubs, or diamonds with each draw. So we're repeating this trial five times because we're picking five different cards and keep replacing them each time. So to figure out our probability, we'll start with five factorial because we have five trials. But then we need to divide by any repetitions. There's actually only one, but we can go through and do one factorial, one factorial, one factorial, and two factorial to just get in the habit of that. So that came from one, 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 and two. Now we need to figure out the probability of each of these. So what's the probability in any random draw of pulling out a heart? Well, 13 of the 52 cards in the deck are hearts, or one fourth. So the probability of a heart is one fourth. And we wanna draw one heart, so we raise that to the first power. Then we're talking next about spades. Again, the probability of a spade is one fourth. We want one of those. Next we have clubs. The probability is still one fourth for a club because there are the same number of hearts, spades, clubs, and diamonds in the deck. And raise that to the first power. And last we have one fourth probability of picking a diamond, but we want two of those, so we raise that to the second power. We can now use our calculator to help us calculate all of this and get an actual numerical answer. And we find out that the probability is about 0 
which is approximately 5.86% chance that we will get one heart, one spade, one club, and exactly two diamonds in our five trials.